Hello and welcome to Certus Major. This is a classic 359 ranked between Gitsi and Spectacular Insanity. Of course, Gitsi. I don't think I've ever played any games with him. He's always one of the best players in, uh, in the rank ladder. I'm not really sure if he still plays. Uh, maybe people know if he's got a different name, unfortunately, last forever. And we got Spectacular Insanity. I haven't really seen him much either. It uh, looks like. I have turned off too many options. Okay, good. <coughs> now we can see the preview. So looking at the build orders, going right after the Hydra is Gitsy. Picking up some mass extractors with engineers and uh, this is something that people should do whenever there is a map with multiple layers like this one. There's three layers basically. You can see here, uh, instead of walking all the way around, get really close to the edge of the engineer and get a factory up on top. <coughs> and of course on this map, a whole bunch of mass in the middle. Really, I think an underplayed map on uh, Forge Alliance Forever. Looks like a whole bunch of land factories for Spectacular Insanity are planned in the middle. And this will all be built by the ACU, so a whole bunch of plans for the ACU. An engineer expanding force is usually a 2v2 map. You got the base for an ally here. And it's much easier to get uh, to this base for this player, even though the distances look very similar. But in order to get here, you got to climb a bunch of mountains. And uh, early on, of course, just two, two choke points, but then a third one opens up down the middle once you break past the tech one point defense of the civilians. So f so far absolutely no action except we do have a very early uh, transport from uh, Spectacular Insanity. Looks like that was uh, one of the first air units. Drops off a couple engineers and hunters. And that's going to have a huge effect on this game. You see a scout coming in here but that's not going to see. Well, that's a good scout. It's going to definitely see something that's not right. It does get taken out, so maybe only the hunters were observed. Up on top, we see Spectacular and Sandy already got some engineers getting uh, taking the mass extractors. We got an interceptor looking for any kind of raiding. So far, no raiding whatsoever. We do see scouting from Gitsy, but no raiding. A whole bunch of land factories and power from Gitsy's ACU. And here we got the successful factory. Get some engineers, and of course, in this map, a lot of reclaim, a lot of rocks by these big mountains. So, really nice map design. We need more maps like this one. Of course, the maps like this, unless people are used to playing on it, they're usually really afraid. Yeah, fear definitely a big factor in Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. Not too many uh, land factories yet at the base. I've not seen a raider in the middle plus an artillery, so. Insanity is going to go after the mid um, civilians a little quicker, seems, than uh, Gitsy. Gitsy really not sending anything to the middle yet. Uh, the top choke point, we got a couple tanks and interceptors. For uh, Spectacular Insanity doing some scouting. Now it looks like a flow of units going toward the secret base here fourth land factory coming up. This is Manti taking out engineers. But this is a big enough force to uh, put an end to this nonsense here for Gitsy. And meanwhile we are seeing the artillery being successful taking out the point defense. Spectacular and Sandy getting more land factories with this ACU. Let's see where the ACU goes next. But this, after this force is finished, uh, and it looks like a very good move here from Insanity knowing that he's going to lose all these uh, factories. He just reclaims them, so gets back his 1,000 mass instead of uh, giving it up to Gitsy. Great play. And some nice Manta here, going to try to sneak around the side, but a good response from Gitsy, plus a point defense as well. And now Gitsy moves in, but finds nothing. But now this force is big enough, it's going to cause major problems, multiple walls planned for insanity. And of course now Still a point defense that's uh, up and not destroyed, but no response whatsoever from Gitsy. 
this should be a really nice chunk of mass for Insanity, who's already got uh, multiple uh, Tech 2 mass extractors and Tech 2 power. If he gets Tech 2 power and gets this mass at the same time, his eco is going to be very nice. It's a very nice scout here behind Gitsy's base. Tech 2 land now for Gitsy. So here, minute 9, uh, not too much aggression at all, but very good eco for both players, and it looks like this wall may not be completed. Well, it depends on the aggression of this uh, force. But it'll be very close. If, even if it's not completely uh, finished here, it'll still be a nice impediment by uh, insanity a little more time. Who's now making a secondary wall? And you don't want to really have a force in this position or in this position because uh, you can put artillery and uh, tech to point defenses as well as just a regular tech one already up on this mountain and start raining uh, a lot of shells directly into insanity's base. Nothing being made by this Tech 2 land factory, still just Tech 1 power and a uh, nice mongoose force doing nothing for Gitsy. And both players very reluctant to battle. We do see Gitsy taking this uh, position really unopposed. Nothing but walls standing in his way. Second Tech 2 power uh, coming up. Very surprising, this is not. Uh, being taken out by Insanity. Nice Air Force from Insanity. Also good Air Force from Gitsy. Gitsy here with a gun. Take one uh, anti-air plus a shield. Then looks like Gitsy is going to go on a pretty massive assault. First off to break through a wall. That'll take a little while, but it will definitely happen to see a response from Insanity. There should be some Tech 2 here. We do see a Tech 2 engineer. This could be very nice want to see a couple uh, tech to point defenses. Now gunship tech to air from insanity and of course a lot of splash damage on the tech to cyber and gunship and that will force a retreat. So air so far, uh, actually we're going to see an air fight. Looks like numbers for Gitsy and that should be an end of those gunships. Gunships retreat. Good response. Uh, tech to point defense probably not going to get to too much. Still a couple of mass structures that should belong to Gitsy and Gitsy's gonna take over these as well. So map control shifts in Gitsy's favor. I don't understand why this is still uh not not taking a lot of tech one onto air. More tech one onto air, but gunships now for insanity moving in. Actually I did not see this. This is a missile launcher. Attacked by the gunships. It did uh, fire a few Shots looks like it took out a single, uh, looks like a tech one mask structure. Now we see tech uh, two point defense. Sniping factory, so not not a very good uh, cruise missile launcher there. But this is a very nice force from Gitsy. Here at minute 13, Gitsy moving in with tech two and the ACU, tech two flak. So those gunships are no longer really an out. It'll take a really nice uh, force, but this is mostly tech one. We do see some tech two point defenses for spectacular insanity. And I get to leading with his ACU. And this force right here might as well start start pushing, but very defensive with his tech two. This uh, stationary flag here. Tech two engineer, field engineer, Sparky. Getting more point defenses built. And here comes his battle. Gitsy runs into a couple tech two point defenses. And now Tech 3 Air for Spectacular Insanity. With ASF, definitely more Tech 1 Air for Gitsy. But uh, looks like those uh, Tech 2 point defenses really made uh, Gitsy not really willing to fight anymore. Just retreating, he's got some Mongoose here on this higher level. But not micro uh, against Manti, they will get uh, ran over. A bit unfortunate there, but on the other side, you get simultaneous attack breaking through the wall. Once you get some already here, you can rain hell into this Tech 3 factory as well as these Tech 2 mass extractors. And this will be a nice Tech 2 point defense. Basically, if you're here in Insanity's base and you look up and you see a point defense being constructed, you know things aren't going well. Map control uh, definitely in uh, 
gets his favor, gets you now tech two. Yeah, this is you know, no tech two on the ACU, but a tech two engineer, Sparky. So gets you loving those Sparkies, uh, sending him out on the field from both directions. Now successful point defense, a retreat from Gitsy. But these Manta are going to get massacred. And once they get massacred, there will be even more trouble. See some transports. An SF for uh, Insanity. So far that's really the only thing that Insanity has. Or the transport was the Tech 3 Air now being built by Gitsy to try to counter. And for the most part, all Tech 1 power. And have not seen any Tech 2 power. So definitely a lot better eco with these two Tech 2 powers for Insanity. And uh, once again, the gunships are going to counter. It's a very nice point defense. Took out already uh, Tech uh, 2 mask extractor. But now just shooting into the side of the mountain. So Aerith is keeping uh, Gitsy from being ran over. Or uh, Insanity. Gitsy here with the gun DCU, only 20 kills. It's a bit uh, disappointing. Leading with the flak. This is such a nice Tech 1 force. A lot of Tech 1 flak here, however. And now the gunships are going to go to work uh, with this uh, Tech 3 air cover. Looks like these are now stealthed. Each one of that takes negative 25 power. Keep it stealth. ASF coming out for Gitsy. Still tech one. It looks like because uh, all the tech two tech from uh, sp from Gitsy are Sparkies, they actually can't make tech two power. All they make is uh, military units. Oh, this is great rating from these gunships. So map control. Slowly shifting in uh, spectacular insanity's favor. I have no idea why this uh, chunk of 4,000 mass has not been taken by either player. We are seeing a bunch of dead flag. Looks like a rally point and not in a very good position. And now push from Gitsy. It's a lot of tech two point defense gonna get a lot of kills. Gitsy pushing as well, take to point defense. Try to secure any kind of victories that Gitsy gets. And so far these point defense is shooting on a post. And the Manta. Maybe uh, not a good push there from Gitsy. Losing quite a few units. At the same time the gunships for insanity doing a great job. Wiped out all these uh Mask structures, but now we do see Tech 2 flag countering for uh, Gitsy. Tech 3 anti air. And now ASF here for uh, Gitsy as well. So both players with ASF. More gunships going to work playing defense. And of course, now uh, more Tech 1 uh, mask structures being taken out. This ASF should take care of that very quickly. So here at 21 minutes, very much a defensive struggle with the Cybern player uh, playing very good defense although giving up quite a bit of the map but some great rating has made up for that and some unexplicable things happening as well of course this expansion for Insanity is also in quite a bit of danger but a lot of dead units that looks like uh, this engineer from Insanity is going to pick up here at 22 minutes we can see 15,000 reclaimed plus about uh, 85 mass Plus 3,000 power for Spectacular. And Gitsy reclaimed 12,000. So a, less, a little less uh, production as well. Plus about 60. And plus uh, 3,000. So a little less power production. A little less of everything for uh, Gitsy. But potentially more map control. And now this game has become very quiet. So I will speed it up a little bit until something good happens we see a cruise missile launcher now for uh, Spectacular love to see uh, it go against the UEF TMD I don't really see too much TMD there are some Tech 2 mass extractors we see some TMD planned here uh, Tech 2 mass extractors would be a great target we also see now Tech 2 power would be uh, underneath the shield Tech 3 engineer for uh, Gitsy and both players 
with this stalemate uh, making quite a bit of air, it looks like a little more build capacity for air, for insanity as well as more uh, power. Nice tech two point defenses here for Gitsy. So both players have tech two point defenses on the either side of this position. And now stealth field, of course, a great tool for any tech two point defense creep. And once again, uh, quite slow. So far, uh, three missiles loaded, three kills. It looks like a drop. It's a Tech 3 engineer with a whole bunch of Tech 2 engineers coming out. Looks like it is going to be taken to the forward base. And uh, EF, no, a Tech 3 anti air plus Ravagers. So that's a big advantage EF has over Cyber. And of course, it's Tech 3 PD, and that's what Gitsy is going to go for. And that will wipe out this entire base. We do see the stealth fields, but of course, easily countered with direct fire. And this already some kills for this Tech 3 anti air. Some upgrading now for Gitsy's ACUs at 39 kills. On the other back door, neither player really wants to make a move. Basically, Tech 1 for both players. And it looks like Tech 3 powered is now planned for uh, insanity. He is no longer making anything from the Tech 3 air factory, which is a bit surprising. We do see Strat Bombers. But of course, for the Tech 3 anti air here, this is JMD Tech 3 anti air. Strap bombers don't get many passes, but a couple of cyber bombs here around these factories, and neither player actually making anything with their air factory. Very surprising. But now we're going to see these Ravagers make a big impact on this game. Cruise missiles taking out uh, Tech 1 mask extractors. That is uh, really not a very cost effective thing, but it depends on how long it takes the enemy to rebuild that. Looks like a gunship here at the back door, 17 kills. And either player willing to make a move here at minute 30. Get C with a shield, uh, getting yet another upgrade. And a very methodical Tech 3 point defense creep. We already see the Tech 3 point defense uh, making its presence known. And that's really a winning strategy here. There's not much that uh, Insanity can do unless he makes a, something like a spider or an attack from the other end. But if he just waits here and tags, he will lose. More ISF now for Gitsy. It's quite a slow game, but we know, now also see some uh, Percy's. Coming out for Gitsy and an air fight. You can see this is before the days of proper micro. Basically, both sides look to see who has more units with the patrol. So, patrol versus patrol. A very narrow victory for insanity. That could be because these were stealthed, so that does give a bit of an advantage. see now scouting tech one scouts from Gitsy. Stealth field plus tech two power and uh, now this tech three point defense beginning to fire at this tech two and uh, as soon as tech two point defense is down this uh, tech one force can move in. Do you see some mongoose there as well. And non-stop scouting which is real always nice to see. I am not really sure what the oh here is the plan. It is going to be a megalith for insanity. Guess he has been working on these Tech 3 mask strikers this whole time. It's a very expensive unit, but uh, it does outrange these Tech 3 point defense and will be able to counter, but that's very expensive. He's able to make it very quickly here at minute 35. Some Percy's at the back door, and nobody's staking the middle, which is mind boggling. So far, watching the, some of these older games, uh, there's some really good games, but some things that are very obvious now when you watch Forge Alliance Forever are just not done by the best players back in the day. 
Although this this is this doesn't make sense. There were people who have been doing this since like first day uh, Supreme Commander came out, kill civilians and take the mess. Cruise missiles for uh, Gitsy. But of course now with this megalith, I'll actually slow this down. The mega has the potential to uh, swing this fight. So we're going to see Ravagers versus Mega. And with proper uh, micro, the Mega definitely has a range advantage, so no reason for it to lose any health. We also see a bunch of Mantai moving in, but those ki get killed very quickly. Uh, here comes the Mega. It's going to target the point defense. Let's kill those off one by one. Not really sure if I agree with this uh, Mantis push, but I guess it gives a nice line of sight for the Mega. And Gitsy should start retreating here once he sees that experimental. We, we see Percy's moving in as well. Percy's at the back door. These can create all kinds of problems. Still an ASF spam plus multiple tech 3 power. And actually, this is pretty inexcusable for this Mega. While we were looking somewhere else, Oh, that's so bad to, to see such a great unit get killed like this. But Percy's together with ACU, a couple overcharges it seems. Yeah, it's at least one overcharge. Plus, of course, the Mega cannot shoot backwards. Got a little too close to all this tech 3 point defense, tech 2 point defense. Should have been much more methodical, just taking units all out one by one. Now Gitsy with a successful attack, might as well just keep pushing, but now we do see a spider. A very quick spider, now another spider from uh, Spectacular. Pretty crazy things going on. Gunships now coming out for Gitsy. Gitsy retreats and let's see if he does anything back here. Gotta get some more tech three point defenses. Although the spider if uh very surprising Gitsy didn't stay uh well I guess the spider did force him, but now we should see this wreck get reclaimed as soon as possible. We might as well turn that wreck with all this power into more experimentals. Yet another Mega now coming up. So good work from a Cyber now uh, using their experimentals. And here it is. That's really nice from uh, Insanity. Picking up that wreck. I guess uh, this whole time is spectacular. Playing minimal defense with his gunships some walls. Uh, teched up his base really nice can produce much better units than Gitsy with all this eco. Gitsy getting more tech 2 power. Still no tech 3 power anywhere for him, which means he's going to have less air. <coughs> now Spider going through the other direction. That's really nice to see. Uh, be a big problem plus an air cover. Because he can take out the Spider with uh, some gunships. Of course, those cannot do that when uh, there's an ASF cover. But perhaps uh, with enough Percy's, there are a few Percy's here, a spider can be taken out. And yet another Mega has been completed by Spectacular. Gets here reclaiming his take 3 point defense. Looks like he's not going to just rebuild them. And let's see how uh, Gitsy deals with this uh, spider on the back door. Still taking up mass extractors. And finally, the middle is taken out. Might as well take that mass. These engineers, after picking up the dead mega, are moving in again. So we're going to see a replay here. See if this mega can do a little better this time. A spider just sitting in the middle, <coughs> waiting for his uh, friends. So two spiders now. And with two spiders, this uh, Percy Force probably has no chance. It's a really very solid play here from a Spectacular. Very defensive, but uh, very effective. Also see some artilleries from Insanity. That's uh, pretty crazy. But uh, really, a Megalith should not give this much respect to uh, such a force. And here come the Spiders versus Percy's. <coughs> Plus some gunships, but here come the ASF. Ran over that uh, Percy really with minimal damage. <coughs> Well, one of the uh, spiders does get killed. The other one pretty much full health. More Percy's on the way, but now a lot of veterancy is coming up. Going after the eco. 
65 kills and this will be the end for Gitsy. Unless he has some great ideas which I don't see. And this spider is going to kill uh, the entire starting base. Before Gitsy get, gets to get in some uh, air factories, looks like he's going to try to get himself a Tech 2 transport. Which means he might go in for uh, getting his ACU close to uh, Insanities. Try to battle it out one by one versus one, but if it wasn't an open field, his ACU would definitely win, but not in this type of situation with another Mega coming up. All these shields, all this build capacity. Spider now 171 kills. And now a nice transport. One thing about Spectacular Insanity, besides completely ignoring uh, the mid for about 40 minutes, very quick to reclaim any of these dead units. Go straight after the dead experimental, getting a little more mass. Here comes a push with the mongoose, they got to run into the mega. And here is Gitsy on a transport. So we'll see if that comes out to anything. It's going to go off map. Of course, all this ASF in this area. Very dangerous place to fly, and uh, not a good place to fly. And uh, there goes Gitsy. The desperation move does not work. And a solid win for Spectacular Insanities. Hope people, hopefully, people enjoyed this. Uh, I guess an old game from back in the day.